Thanks for tuning in. My name is John Lunn, aka Johnny Chips, and today we're going to take a look at the Azure mobile application available on iOS and Android devices. And really, it's for those positions where you just need to do that little bit of admin on your Azure subscription or within your Azure tenant, and you've not got access to your desktop or your laptop PC. Let's jump on over and take a little look. So yes, thanks for tuning in everybody. Just a quick video today to take a look at the Azure mobile application available on iOS or Android uh, mobile devices. Uh, and it's really around trying to give the user or the Azure admin access to the Azure tenancy and subscription in order to do some quick admin tests. So uh, let's just jump on over and take a look at how we get installed and uh, what we can actually start to do with that particular application. Okay, so over on our iOS device here, I'm running iOS. This is available on the Android uh, in the Android App Store as well. But if we jump to the um, to the Apple uh, Store, so we can see there. If we search for Microsoft Azure, we can find that we've got this access this uh, application that we need to install on devices. So without further ado, we're going to get that downloaded, um, and we can see there that we're on version 3.7.1, which is updated around about a week before this recording. So just check the version that you're downloading, just so you can see if there have been any bug fixes or new feature addition, things like that. So there we go. We're downloaded. We're installed. Let's head on over and open up that application. And the first thing it's going to do is say, look, do you want a tour? So yeah, why not? Whilst we're new to this app, let's just have a little bit of a tour. So the first one we can see is that it's around staying connected anytime, anywhere. We can monitor the health of our, and status of all of our Azure resources whilst we're on the go, whilst we're out and about and away from our desktops. Uh, we can diagnose and fix issues quite quickly. Um, so obviously we can stay in, in control of our resources and, and do those quick corrective action things that we might need to do. You know, did I turn that VM off? Did I do this? You can do that through the apps and we'll, we'll, we'll dig into a little bit of that now briefly. Um, we've also got uh, the ability to kind of favorite certain resources within our Azure subscriptions and, and have them available directly from the home page of this application. So if there are those common applications that you need to get access to quite quickly or more often than not, you can actually do that through the app itself. And finally, which is arguably one of the most cool features, is that we've got access to run Cloud Shell from the device. So if we've got you know, sometimes quite uh, complex and, you know, heavy functions or bits of code that we want to run, we can actually run them directly from our devices against Cloud Shell, either in Bash Script or using PowerShell directly from our iOS or Android device. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's click Done there. And now we're going to get prompted to sign in. So sign in with your Azure Tenant Admin. I'm going to use that one at the bottom there. And I'm going to sign in, and that should give me access to a couple of subscriptions. I've not got a lot of resources in there, but this is just for demo and just kind of so you can get a bit of a look and feel as to what, uh, what's going on. So first thing we see is a what's new screen. We'll OK that, and we're taken directly to our home screen. Now, if we just scroll up and down, we can see straight away we've got access to a few little tiles uh, the Azure services, we could click on virtual machines, web apps there at the top. Um, any alerts, latest alerts in chart form, we can flick between that. At the end of the day, it's relatively new. I've not got any alerts set up, but that's where they'd appear. Any recent resources that we've accessed through the app? Well, of course, this is our first time into the app, so I've not actually in, uh, accessed any resources just yet, but they'd show up there. And likewise, we've got ability to go to service health, which I'm not expecting to see much, or what resource groups. And if I click resource groups, you can see I've got a couple of resource groups in here. Uh, and then finally at the bottom, we've got that area where we can favorite certain um, resources and have them appear there at the bottom of our home screen. If we shift along from the bottom over to subscriptions, we can see the subscriptions we've got access to that we can click through and drill down into. We can click on resources. That will give us an entire list of all the resources that we've got in our subscriptions. You can see I've not got a lot. It's a single virtual machine in a resource group with a VNet, and that's about it. Uh, if we click along, we've got notifications. And then finally, on the bottom right, we've got access to create a cloud shell, create a cloud shell, and do something with it. So, I mean, literally, um, by clicking the screen, and I would type something like AZ VM. Uh, list. So let's just get a list of any VMs that I've got in my subscription. I can quickly run that and get that answer back pretty quickly. And you can see that if I scroll back up to the top just to have a look at what that's actually extrapolated, then we can see that, yeah, we go, we've got a, a VM and it's in my resource group called uh, Johnny Chips VMRG. It's got a single network interface. 
um what else can we see in there everything basically what disk what os disk we've got running in there uh what the disk resource is everything you'd expect to see in json format back out through that cloud shell and you can see i'm in bash there we've got the ability to flick over to a powershell and let me just restart the cloud shell and this will restart it to our trusty powershell platform um it might take a minute or so just to do that but there we go it's request a cloud shell we've got the uh, the usual blue background that kind of denotes that we are in PowerShell. And likewise, it's going to authenticate me using that account. And there we go. We're logged on to CloudShell. So fill your boots. You can literally, you can save your scripts and everything in that um, storage account within your Azure platform. And you can use that to quickly run commands uh, as and when you need to. Um, or you can get a little bit clearer if you need to. So let's flick back over to the main part of the application. So I'm going to exit out of CloudShell for a moment and go back over to our home screen. And we'll just use the home screen to drill down. So we know we've got a virtual machine. So I'm going to click on virtual machines. And there it is. So what kind of things can we do with a virtual machine? We can click on it. We can see that it's running. We can see that we've got uh, an average CPU usage metric graph showing on there. Uh, we can see that the resource is healthy and it's available. It's running uh, and it's provisioned successfully. We can see what subscription and resource group the resource is in, the location, the name, the OS version, the size, the public IP. And we've got access to the um, access controls. Um, for whatever reason said there was an error, just quickly refresh and it disappeared. So you can see I'm uh, an owner of this particular resource, but I could then go in and add more role assignments to that resource if I needed to. So I hope you'll agree. It's pretty powerful stuff, and I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but we can do things like stop and restart. We could even connect to this VM because it's got a public IP address. I could click connect, and I'm not going to because it's going to go landscape and throw my video out slightly, but you get the idea. So I hope you found that interesting. Just a quick whistle-stop tour of the Azure mobile application available on iOS and Android. If you're interested in that, please do um, take a look at that. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. I've been John Lunn, and this has been the Azure mobile iOS application overview. Bye for now.